Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I am going to teach you how you can create a line graph of any data. This is a line graph of my push-ups, how many push-ups I do on each day. These line graphs can be used to show how something changes over time. Like how many minimum push-ups I can do, that is 10, and how many maximum push-ups I can do, that is 30 here. Basically, these line graphs give you a quick analysis of data. So here on the y-axis, I have added number of push-ups and on the x-axis, I have added days. At the bottom here, we have few helping buttons. I will describe them later on in the video. So let's see how we can build this line graph using Python. Firstly, we are going to import one graphical plotting library. So go to your terminal, here type pip install matplotlib. So this matplotlib library help us to create graphs. I have already installed this library. Now we can import it. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So here I am representing this library as plt. You can give any name, it's up to you. So this library has lots of methods which will help us to create a line graph. Before plotting the graph, I will be requiring some data. So here data will be days and number of push-ups that I do. So I'm going to create two lists, days and numbers. Inside this days list, we will be adding all the days of the week. So I have added all the days in the form of a string inside this days list. Then I will be adding number of push-ups that I do in these days inside this numbers list. So on Sunday I do 25 push-ups, on Monday I do 15 push-ups and so on. We got the data inside these two lists. Now we can plot the graph with the help of a method which is present inside this library. So I'm going to use library name. Here this plt is representing this library. Library name dot plot method. Inside this method we have to pass which data will be on the x-axis and which data will be on the y-axis. So days will be on the x-axis and number of push-ups will be on the y-axis. We can also add label to our x-axis. So I'll use this library dot x label method here i'll mention the label in the form of a string days similarly i can give label to my y axis so again i'm going to use this library dot y label method and the label will be number of push ups and then if you want you can give title to your graph my push ups graph so this way we can create our line graph and now we can display our line graph with the help of another method plt.show. Let's run and see. So here we are getting our line graph. Here this is the title of our graph. Y axis is representing number of push ups and X axis is representing days. So with the help of this line graph, I can do quick analysis of how many minimum push-ups I do and how many maximum push-ups I do. So on Wednesday, I need to improve. We can also save this graph. I will save it on the desktop. Then we have this configuration tool. We can click on these sliders if you want to adjust your graph. Like this. Then we have this reset button to reset everything. Then we have this zoom button. If you want any section to be zoomed, just select that section. Then here we have this backward and the forward button. And this button help us to move the graph left or right. Like this. And then we have this home button to see the original graph. We can also change the color of the graph and its line width. Let me show you. Inside this plot method, 
we can add one keyword argument which is color and we can provide value as the color name so i'm going to give red as a color we can also add line width let's see we can also add marker to these exact values like at 25 at 15 at 20 and so on let me show you so here we can add marker and the symbol you can see we are getting a marker here we can also change marker color and its size so here we can add marker face color as blue and then marker size as 12 now we can analyze this graph more accurately due to these markers you can also add line style to it line style equals to dash you can pass two more values to it instead of dash you can pass dotted or dash dot so this is how we create a line graph that's it for this video thank you for watching